Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and we've got a purple post unboxing today. Um, this is a painting from Diamond Art Studio UK um, and this one is by Hafsa Indris. Probably completely hashed the name but I'm going to try and get this out. There we go try and get this out nicely uh, but this is a rather big one to add to my stash it's one that is a current image on their website take your guesses now as to which one it may be but it has 45 different colors and it is this one Field of Memories, absolutely gorgeous. I'm imagining quite a bit of confetti with this one. Now, before I forget, I am just going to trim this because I think I forgot on the last one and make sure that I keep this out ready for my logbook. Um, update which I nearly forgot when doing my schedule that I'm due an update soon but we have the stickers say all 45 different colors symbols all look clear they all look clear on the stickers they're all looking clear on the canvas and we do have quite a nice bit of confetti on this one so I've got this one in a square it is 60 centimeters by 80 centimeters so it is a beast uh, but we have a gorgeous field of poppies down here there's a few different reds mixed in this is the kind of confetti that i like where you know you're still tipping out the same sort of color diamonds but then you get to dot some all over the place um so there's not there's the odd little bit where you'll only need a couple of diamonds but most of them it's you know you tip a batch of diamonds into your tray and the difference is you just spread them over the canvas always a good way to miss a few symbols <laughs> <laughs> which is the normal practice when diamond painting and then we have oh look at this gorgeous clouds in the sky they are beautiful so we get again more confetti up here but of course different color confetti so yeah it's a 60 by 80 i will pop a link to the website with this one down below you can choose whether to get a toolkit or not with Diamond Art Studio UK's paintings. So you will see I don't have a toolkit uh, because I have my tray, my pens that I like to use. So I don't believe I need, I need more plastic. But look at those colours. So I'm loving this gorgeous red. This green as well is a beautiful green. We've got a nice bit of limey green, gorgeous bright orange and yellows. We've even got the sort of, it's a yellow, I don't know whether it's got a hint of green or maybe that's just me and the green that's nearby it. But gorgeous greens, gorgeous blues, nice pop of colour as well as some more muted colours as well there is no 310 in this painting there is also no 3865 so if you prefer to work in color i mean i don't mind 310 to be honest i find it can give the impact that it needs to give the dark oh we do have some 939 and some 823 but it's not a dark painting overall most of the 939 is just this scattering line sort of line of trees is it 
if it's even trees in the background, but this sort of far, far distant line before you get to this gorgeous night sky. We've got some beautiful purples. Lightest colour is probably this pink. Is that 819? It is 819. See, you get to know these numbers. But yeah, you've got your pale pinks, your lightest colour. 939 is your darkest. But a lot of it is colour. Colour, colour, colour in various forms. Here's probably your dark little section. Bit of burgundy, bit of blue, bit of green. But yeah, absolutely beautiful colours and shadings on this one. Um, this one will be a really nice one to add to my stash um, to be chosen when the decision wheel chooses it, of course. I keep having a look at the symbols to see if I can see any that may cause a problem. I'm not seeing any straight off that may do. They all look really clear to me. Um, and in turn, they'll probably be clearer with a light pad on. But yeah, love the, the confetti, as I say, within it. So if I show you a little bit more close up. So there are some batches, like here, where you get sort of a lot of one colour, but then you get some here where we've got a lot of sevens, um, but they're scattered about, and then we've got a lot more of some of the other symbols, but are scattered, um, and again here, there's a lot of different symbols scattered about, and down here, so you get to tip quite a few diamonds in your tray to do a section, um, but you're not doing loads and loads of block work. And I like to vary them all up. I do like a painting with a bit of block work every now and then. But yeah, uh, say Hafsa, Hafsa Indres. I'm going for that accent. Did you see, Did you hear that? Don't know whether it's the right accent or not. Uh, apologies if I've said the name wrong. Uh, but I do have a couple, at least a couple of her paintings as far as I remember off the top of my head and um, so I'm more than happy to add this one to my stash but as I said I will pop a link down below in case you want to grab one for yourself but thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon